When the Bible says faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God, it means like the way you eat food. Are you getting me? Just because you eat food doesn't mean that you are going to be strong. Am I correct? Food does not give you strength. Are you getting it? But it gives you energy. Food gives you energy, but it doesn't give you strength. Strength is come when you exercise with the energy given to you. A man who goes to the gym, all right? One make one stronger than the other. You see people that eat a lot, they are fat. They are all everywhere. Just because somebody is fat and big does not mean that he's strong. Am I correct? Then you see someone who is not as big as this person, but the person is well built. Because it's always what? Exercising. Gymming is muscle. And because of that, it becomes fit and more capable. That is how exercising your faith is all about when you are talking about faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God like you are hearing now, if you don't put them to work, you are going to be like someone who keep eating food and eating food, then get bigger and bigger, get fatter and fatter, but it does not put those muscles to work. And that will not make you strong. So when we talk about a powerful Christian, is the one who exercises their faith. That's what makes you powerful. So this is what God is required of his children. How many of you will give birth to a child? You just watch your child eat and eat and sleep and eat and eat and then swell up and big for nothing. How many of you will be happy as parents? Have a child like that. You won't be happy. You want your child to be well built, well capable, you know, and all that strong and healthy. That's what you'll be looking for. That's why you allow children to play. That's why you notice children, they play a lot. They jump around, climb trees, climb things. If you are so far in your house, oh Jesus Christ. They will climb there, jump here, jump there. That's true, especially when they are boys. That's what you get in the house. So, what does that show? Because all of this is exercise. Are you getting me? They are exercising themselves. That's why they like to play football. They like to do it. But if you don't raise your child, you don't allow them to play. You always keep them inside the house. Play game. They will become obese over time. They keep eating and eating the swell up. And you hear the one say, Ajay butter, it does not have power. Any small thing like this, cry, mommy. They call them Ajay butter. Because they are always eating, but they are not exercising their muscle. The same way they are Ajay butter Christians. Yes. They keep hearing the word. They know the word. But when trouble comes, they don't put the word to work. They do all that thing. They hear, oh, if any man being Christ a new creation, all things are passing, all things have become new. But when situation come, they remember all things are not passed away yet. The brother who say all things are passed away, I'm not a new person in Christ and all that. You believe you, you belong to the family of God now. You are no longer from the world. Okay. And tomorrow they are talking, ah, I am from UBC village. Our people, I'm the son of Israel. But I thought you say all this are passed away. <laughs> Why claiming the land of your nativity? But you claim that you are from above, you are not from the earth. Now you say you are son of the soil. See contradiction. How can you be son of the soil that you say you are from above? Is that not a contradiction? So you see, sometimes we say we are this when it comes to we know the word. But when it comes to life circumstances where we are supposed to put our faith to work, we fail in it. That's what I call Ajebota Christians.